When working on a project, importing and splitting media is usually the first step. This video will show you how to do this. In general, there are two ways to import media into Video Sync. Using the Add Media to Project option from the File menu, which will add files to the media bin, or by dragging media files from the Mac OS Finder or Windows Explorer and dropping them directly to the timeline or media bin. When dragging audio or video files to the timeline from either the media bin or the Mac OS Finder or Windows Explorer, the Spot Media window appears. It offers advanced and intelligent timeline placement options. This is especially useful for batch placement of multiple files with either fixed or variable spacing requirements. Files can be placed horizontally, one after the other, on an existing track, or stacked vertically over multiple tracks at a specific point. Batch horizontal spotting to the embedded timecode timestamp is supported with BWAV audio files and certain video containers such as MOF and MXF. To spot one or more of these files to their embedded timecode start points, select them in either the Finder, Slash, Explorer, or the Media Bin, and drag them onto an existing track or the new track area of the timeline. In the Spot Media window that appears, first ensure that the Stacking Direction field is set to Horizontal. Next, enable the Spot to Embedded Timecodes checkbox. If all the files being imported have an embedded timecode start, shown in the Embedded column, then the remaining fields will not be shown and will not have any effect on the placement of files. If, however, only some of the files do not have embedded timestamps, the values of the remaining fields will be applied to those files. In that case, only the files with embedded timecode timestamps will ignore these fields and instead be spotted to their embedded timecode start positions. In order to prevent files being overlapped with files already on the timeline at that position on the spotted track, or being spotted at the same time to similar positions, the next free track will be used. Where no extra free tracks are available, new ones will be created. The only exception is the first file in a selection of files, which will overlap if specifically placed over an existing file. To quickly import files using the same settings last set in the Spot Media window, simply hold the Command key on Mac OS or the Control key on Windows while dragging the files especially when dragging from the Finder or Explorer. To make sure that the file selection is not affected, it is advised to start dragging the files first and then to add the modifier key. The Spot Media window will not be shown and the files will be imported directly using the same settings as set on the previous import. That's it for this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. For more video tutorials, detailed information on this topic or troubleshooting, please check the in-app manual or the knowledge base on our website.